Hey folks, Blackcross here and welcome to my vlog series. If you're new to this channel, what I usually do when it comes to these vlogs, I tend to ramble and talk about events that I plan on doing in the up and coming months, followed by sometimes a shift in plans and sometimes a few little personal thoughts that I tend to put out there from time to time. Uh, with this particular video, it's going to be launched literally the day before my big vacation week. Um, and basically, me and my brother are going to go camping for a while. And, uh, which means I won't be uploading videos after this video gets released. In other words, the day of this video, it will be released. Um, I'm not going to be on the internet for a while. So, in other words, you, uh, the channel is probably going to be a little bit quiet for a couple days. Until probably, uh, I'd say Friday is when we'll be back. Uh, so Friday will probably be the day that I will upload probably one or two more videos, depending on, uh, what all is left. Now, what I mean by all that's left, um, this is gonna be a time crunch, because as of the timing of this recording, there is actually two more days before we set off on our big camping trip. So, in other words, uh, I have two days to try to build up some videos before the big, uh, trip to, uh, the campsite itself. So, with that being said, I do plan on trying to build up enough videos to where I can get that out of the way and get that all set up. Now, with that being said, uh, I do want to go ahead and kind of preference what's going on, as well as give you an ideal agenda of what's happening, as well as to explain why I haven't been Twitch streaming for a couple of days. So, let me go ahead and explain why I haven't been streaming for the couple of days. Uh, the first reason is because, uh, there was this video that I was making. I've talked about it for a long time, and I basically have been keeping it quiet for a long time. And, uh, I finally got it done as of yesterday. And Delmar had, uh, more or less, uh, there, there's a word that people use, but I can't think of the word. Um, I suppose the word is, uh, help produce, I suppose you could say. Um, he motivated me to do it the way I ended up doing it, because originally I wanted to do it one way. Um, sorry, I keep doing that. Um, originally I wanted to do it one way, and then I ended up shifting gears to another direction, and I ended up going that direction. And then I was editing the video, editing it to the best of my abilities and stuff like that, and as I continued onward and everything, it worked out to its advantage. And then by the time I got done, I felt satisfied with what I did, and then I let Daniel view it. And Daniel viewed it, and he said, and when he told me his opinions about it, I told him to be completely critical about it. I wanted to be completely critical of what it was and how he thought about it. And by the time he got done watching the video, and he showed, he told me what his thoughts were, they were on par of what I wanted it to be. Uh, I. Obviously, I didn't make it to be, like, the best video out there. No. I meant it to be, like, informational, you know, detail and stuff. And when Delmar gave me his opinions about what he thought about the video, that it gave him a different light about what he thought about, I was like, that's what I needed. That's what I wanted to be. I don't want it to be the best. I wanted to be informational to give people a different light as to, like, what it is. And it's like, that's what I wanted. So, that's good and all, which means, uh, not this coming up Friday, but probably the next Friday, I'll say, is when I'll release the video. Which gets me excited, because that was my plan. My plan was to get it released before the end of May. And by the time I get ready to release it, it will be almost halfway in May. So, yay, I finally got that video done I've always wanted to do. So, I hope you guys enjoy it. I really hope you do, because... I put everything in my ability of how this video is, and I practically put my heart and soul and mind into it, you could say. I put a lot of dedication, a lot of love and attention, and just gave it the best I could be. Now, I'm not saying that it's going to happen all the time. Every once in a while, I usually go out of my way to make these video projects more or less to see what I can do and what I'm willing to push out there, you know. And 
Sometimes they're really good. Sometimes they're really fun. Sometimes there's a lot of work that needs to be done. But for the most part, they, they're they worth it, I think. And at the end of the day, if I feel dedicated enough to want to make this one video, then that's all that matters. So it, even if I don't make a continuous effort of making a lot of, of the same videos, I tend to make a lot of different... I make a... Let me rephrase that word. Uh, even though I don't make a lot of the same content, I make a few unique content. And those unique ones sometimes stand up among the rest. That's not always the case sometimes, but I feel like if I can make a few unique ones and make you guys look into it and be like, oh, this is, this is unique, I, I like it, then that's what I'm aiming for, you know. Now, of course, the main channel, like I said, is mostly towards uh, playing video games that I haven't played before and sharing my experience with them, be that of old and new, as well as to get people involved together in one big section and everything like that. That's all that matters to me. But that being said, um, as of the release of this video, we are officially done with Final Fantasy IV. Uh, and then, of course, I said that we were going to start on Final Fantasy V. Well, I have not started it yet. Mostly because I'm sort of waiting on, like, when I want to do it. At the same time, I'm also trying to keep myself paced from, like, overdoing it. Because, let, let's put it this way. I have played Final Fantasy 1, 2, 3, and 4 in that order since December. And so, at this point right now, I want to kind of pace myself as to the direction that I want to go with in terms of uh, playing through Final Fantasy in the long run. So, what I mean by in the long run, I mean like, uh, considering the fact that we're in 5 and then from here on out. Now, 5 and 6 are the last two Final Fantasy games that I have no knowledge of. Uh, Final Fantasy IV, I had a brief knowledge, but I played the DS version, so in other words, it was going to be a little bit different, I figured, and indeed it was, but no more than what I was familiar with. Uh, it took me a while to get back into the swing of things, but I kind of knew what to expect, so to speak. So, we're going to go back into the realm of the unknown with the Final Fantasy franchise being that of 5 and 6. And then by the time I get through 6, we'll be playing through games that I am familiar with, but we're going to be playing through them uh, in their story preference. Now, that being said, uh, I'm going to try to come up with a continuous schedule. And last time I tried to do this, it didn't pan out that amazingly. But I do want to try to release videos or at least do streamings every time I get the chance to. I can't guarantee it all the time, but I can at least make an attempt to make it as much as possible. But let's put it in that perspective. So in other words, Final Fantasy V will be coming, starting streaming for Final Fantasy V sometime... If I don't decide on streaming it this coming up Saturday, then uh, the following next Friday or Saturday, I will start streaming for Final Fantasy V. Um, now, that being said, uh, there is another game that I started playing for YouTube, per se, and that is uh, Blood Will Tell. Uh, I've only made up to four parts, and I'm hoping that within the next two days, I can record a little bit more to get a little bit more videos out there for you guys for in case if I'm not able to release videos from streaming, I can at least release videos for this. Um, and that being said, um, there's also another game that I want to go back into again, and that is Medieval. Now, we've only played like four hours, I think, of Medieval 1, and unfortunately, uh, I got sick towards the end of that video, unfortunately. I don't know why, but I did. Um, so, I, I want to finish it, at least finish it. Uh, technically, I know there's like a good ending. I don't know how to get it, but I do know there technically is a, a good ending for it. But uh, I do want to try beating uh, Medieval. So, what I plan to do is that instead of streaming Medieval like I did previously, I'm going to finish it from where I left off and continue it. So in other words, there's going to be like an hour playthrough of Medieval uh, 
every other day whenever I get a chance to. I do want to get back into playing through Medieval again and try to beat it, you know. Because like I said, uh, I want to beat Medieval and Medi Medieval 2 before uh, the so-called uh, remake of Medieval comes out. So that's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. And all honesty, I'm glad that I've played through Medieval because of the fact that I actually kind of like the gameplay. And even though the camera can be a little bit wonky at times, actually that might be why I've been getting sick is because the camera angles is what making me like motion sickness. Maybe that's why, because I felt pretty good before the stream and then as I was streaming halfway through it, my mind, my stomach was like, so I think it was just mo motion sickness, I think, now that I think about it. But there are very few games that do that to me. I know the last game that did that to me was, um, actually there were two other games that did that to me. There was uh, Portal 2. Portal 2 was really bad to get me sick. Uh, after I got, like, after the earlier stages, whenever you finally escape, and you get into, like, some of the more real crazy platforming, that's whenever I was like, I can't play this any more than I have. It's making me sick. And then there's, uh, Borderlands. Uh, the first Borderlands, mind you. Um, in the first Borderlands, I really got motion sickness. And it was that point that I was like, I hate... FPS's just because of that motion sickness part. Now record Bioshock doesn't do that to me at all which is weird. Bioshock 1, 2, and 3 does not do that to me. Yet most, not every, but most FPS's tend to do that. Uh, Destiny was like the one real FPS that didn't do that to me uh, whenever I was playing through it. I realized that it didn't have that motion sickness problem. And then uh, about a year ago, uh, TJ let me try out uh, the uh, Borderlands 2, the prequel, sequel, I forgot what its alter alternate name is, but uh, the the Handsome Collection, rather. So he let me play it a little bit because he wanted me to get into Borderlands really badly, which is understandable, you know. I can understand it's a really good series, but I just didn't want to get into it because of the fact that, again, that motion sickness problem. So I started playing through Borderlands 2, and I was like, wait, it's... It's not, it's, it feels great. My eyes aren't jarring, and the controls are good. Sort of like Destiny, in a way. And that's whenever I had that sudden realization that 60 FPS is that improvement that FPS is needed, you know. You know, at first I thought it was very nice to have that 60 frame per second movement because the game flows faster, and it flows beautifully. I didn't think it would fix any of the problems that, most gamers would have when it comes to gaming. For example, for me, uh, tunnel vision or motion sickness and stuff like that through some of the games, apparently that 60 frame per second actually helps. So surprisingly, I might actually go into playing Borderlands. I don't know. I can't make any promises, but we'll see what happens. But that being said, um, that's the one thing I have with Medieval, and I'm hoping that the remake actually fixes that problem. But uh, I do want to play through the PlayStation 1 versions first. And uh, like I said, there will be a, another release of Medieval again. I do want to I want to continue playing it. So in other words, there are three games that we're going to be playing through, or rather I'm going to be playing through, within the weeks to come. And that's uh, Final Fantasy V, uh, Blood Will Tell, as well as uh, Medieval. And this is a, it's been a while since I've had like this big plate. But if I can get myself scheduled to days that I need to play these games, then I think I can figure this out. I think I've got this planned out. So my plan is, is that every night, I'm going to try. Doesn't always work, but I'm going to try. Every night, I'm going to try to stream uh, Final Fantasy V. And we're going to play through an hour or so of Final Fantasy V. Cannot guarantee it every night, but I'm going to try. I'm going to tr try. So in other words, if you want to follow me on Twitch or uh, follow me on Twitter and Facebook to where you'll be in the know as to when I am streaming, by all means, please do check out any of the following three, you know. In fact, from what I know, technically you don't have to subscribe to any of my stuff. You can just follow me on any of these social media stuff. Uh, like I said, Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Twitch. 
Then again, Facebook nowadays is suffering some issues right now, so maybe you might not want to. It's up to you. But like I said, there is Twitter, so need to stop doing that. I mean, I've been hitting that mic so badly. It's, maybe it would help if I had it on this end, but either way. Anyway, um, like I said, if you follow me on Twitter or Twitch for that matter, uh, then you'll be in the know as to when I'm streaming next time. And I'm going to try to keep it at a continuous rate of every night for an hour. Again, cannot promise this, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try my damnedest to. Um, and then of the two nights that I'm off, being that of Tuesday and Wednesday, I'm going to try to uh, play through Blood Will Tell as well as Medieval to get some videos built up, and then they're going to be released every other day. So in other words, depending on how we do in Final Fantasy V, uh, Final Fantasy v um, I'm going to try to uh, uh, get streaming every day and then release those videos every day, if not every other day, depending on what goes on. And then Blood Will Tell as well as Medieval, I will release every other day as well. Now to go into another video series, that being of mine and Del Mar's uh, Kingdom Hearts series. Um, because of the fact that we're going camping, we won't have any time to do another recording of Birth, er, uh, I'm about to say Birth by Sleep, Dream Drop Distance. So what I plan to do, I plan to release one part this coming up week, and then the next part next week when we come back. So you'll have at least one Kingdom Hearts video within the two weeks to watch, uh, along with other videos that I've got going on right now. And again, I'm hoping that everything works out well once I get these two days out of the way. And like I said, whenever I decide on when I want to stream uh, Final Fantasy V, again, it will be either this coming up Saturday or the following next Friday, depending on what goes on. So, that being said, I think I think that's all I want to go ahead and say for this video because there's been a lot of mix-up and stuff, and I've been kind of distracted with a lot of different things right now. And I've been kind of I, I haven't say I've been lacking in terms of videos because I've actually had quite a bit of videos build up, thankfully. But I have been lackluster in terms of like other videos that I have done. So hopefully you'll forgive me on all that. And hopefully I will get back into streaming again. And hopefully I'll build up some more parts for Blood Will Tell for you guys. Because that one's actually really good. I'm, I'm actually glad that I picked that up whenever I did. I was actually surprised as to how entertaining that game is. It's, it's not just the concept that's really good. But also the gameplay is really good too. Um, then of course there's uh, Medieval, and like I said, the only problem I have with it is of course the camera angles, but the gameplay is pretty fun on its own as well. But anyway, though, thank you so much for watching and thank you for understanding. Uh, be sure to follow me on any of the social medias to where you'll be in the know as when I'm streaming. And like I said, I'm hoping to release these videos at a continuous rate. And be sure next week to watch this little special video project that I've got going on. So thank you so much, and I shall see you in the next video. This is Black Cross signing off. See you later, guys.